Hey guys, happy Thursday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a great day. All right, so I've got five brand new Kringle Candle Reserve fragrances to sniff through with you guys today. So uh, if you've missed the news, there is going to be a Kringle Reserve launch coming next Thursday on January 11th. So one week away from today. I'm actually filming this on Wednesday night, so uh, it's a week and a day away, but the day this video goes up tomorrow, it will be one week away. So uh, there are five brand new fragrances coming on Thursday. Um, Kringle was kind enough to send over all five of them to me and PR uh, to share with you guys. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna be giving my first sniff impressions. Um, I have already quickly like smelled through these. They literally got here like 30 minutes ago and I pulled the pox inside the house and I like couldn't help myself I had to smell them quickly but I haven't really smelled these too much and I haven't like compared the notes or anything so yeah we've got uh some first sniffs to share here um I have not burned any of them yet I do plan on burning them and getting post burn in-depth reviews out for you guys of all five and I plan on hopefully being able to do that before the launch I think that'll be possible um I just kind of plan on focusing on burning these for the second half of this week and then hopefully I'll get the reviews up early next week so that's kind of how I'm going to do it. But um, today I just strictly kind of want to read off the notes for you guys, let you know some details, let you know what I smell on cold, and uh, we'll come back. Um, I know some people don't really feel like the first sniff videos are that helpful. I do though, because I think that looking back and, uh, you know, like seeing what I originally thought versus what I now think after burning the candle, it's kind of fun to compare because I do believe that fragrances really can change before uh, and after burning. So I like to do them and I feel like they're fun to just like sit down and smell the candles and read the notes and tell you guys uh, what I pick up. So Anyways, um, I will link the Kringle Candle website down below if you're interested. Um, the launch, again, will be on Thursday, January 11th at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you're on the West Coast, sorry. <laughs> you're going to have to get up early for this launch. Um, they will be in the typical Kringle Reserve fragrance jar, which is the black jar. Uh, two wicks soy white wax we know how lovely this blend is from kringle it's just 100 percent soy wax uh cotton wicks premium fragrance oils 22 ounce jar for you by the way if you didn't know uh, so that's some of the info. Um, these will be limited quantities. So if you're wanting to get your hands on any of them, I hate to do this because I don't like to contribute to consumerism. But if you want to get your hands on these, you're going to want to act fast because if this launch goes like what the past ones have, they're going to sell out pretty quickly. So uh, definitely get your hands on them earlier is better um if you're really wanting to get one of them i would try and be there um at the launch time so again if you're on the east coast that's good for you because 9 a.m is obviously better than 6 a.m so uh try and be there at the launch if you're gonna want to get one of these because they are gonna sell out pretty quickly they are limited quantities uh that's just kind of how kringle does it with the reserve candles um i think that kind of like the fun of it is that it's like just a limited edition and you don't really know if it's going to ever come back so um if you are wanting any of these fragrances you're definitely going to want to act fast but um yeah they will be available at 9 a.m eastern standard on thursday january 11th they will be full priced um at 34 dollars. that's what they run for which is obviously quite expensive uh you can use my code connor 15 that's going to save you a little bit of money you're going to save 15 percent off with that code uh so that does help i know it's not a ton but every little you know every little penny helps and uh my code is definitely going to help you guys to uh to save a little bit of money on these so uh it is an affiliate code by the way so if you're not comfortable definitely don't feel the need to use it but um i just want it to be there to help you guys save some money um, but yeah, let's get right into it. And I haven't already made it, if I haven't already made it clear, uh, these were sent 
by Kringle and PR. So all thoughts are still my own. Kringle does send us PR every once in a while. Uh, sometimes they'll choose like random amb brand ambassadors and then sometimes they'll choose others. So it's kind of a toss up, I think. Um, but yeah, they were sent. All opinions are still my own. They don't force us to read off a script or say anything good about the candle. Um, I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna start with, I think the one that at least I was the most excited for when I found out these fragrances releasing. And um, I know a couple of you have also eyed this one. So uh, let's start with this one. So we've got Sweet Cream. Okay, so I was so excited for this one because I am a gourmand lover. I love the delicious foodie dessert fragrances. And um, just based off this label, I was like, yes, I need that. I need that. I need that. Um, it is just a little whisk with some cream on it. It looks like whipped cream to me, but uh, yeah, it's just delicious. It looks like you're baking something really yummy. Okay, so sweet cream. Our notes on here are top notes of strawberry sugar, cloudberry jam, mid notes of cotton candy swirl and crystallized pearl, sorry, petals. And uh, your base notes are whipped vanilla cream and sweet musk. All right, this is so good. I love this one, you guys. If you love a good like strawberry gourmand fragrance, you're gonna wanna pick this one up. Uh, it definitely has like a strawberry whipped cream vibe going. Um, it honestly to me smells like strawberry frosting, which I love strawberry frosting. Um, I love like a basic, just like vanilla frosting, but if you add strawberry in there, I just feel like that makes it 10 times better. And I love this and it smells just like strawberry frosting. It's just like sweet and fun and just like, super playful like i love it like it kind of brings me back to like a kid being a kid and like smelling like the birthday cake like if you had like a strawberry birthday cake this is what that smelled like um it's so good it's really fun and playful i just i love this scent it's really delicious this will definitely be really good to have going in the kitchen so yeah i love this one uh so yeah for the notes that I pick up, I definitely pick up on the strawberry sugar. It's again, the main fruit in there is definitely the strawberry. It does kind of have like a jammy smell to it as well. Um, cotton candy, I don't know. I don't necessarily, for me, it has a lot of creaminess in it. Like it really has like a very distinct frosting smell to it. But um, I definitely think that you could kind of maybe get a little bit of like a cotton candy smell, especially because you are getting some of those like fruity notes. Uh, yeah, so definitely get the whipped vanilla cream. And then the sweet musk. Don't let the sweet musk scare you away. I feel like Kringle loves to put musk in all of their fragrances, or at least put that in the notes. And I think it scares some people away because musk sometimes can just be like overbearing in my opinion. But honestly, I don't pick up any musk in here. It's just really that delicious, sweet frosting, strawberry frosting scent. Yeah, that's what it is. I love this one. It is so, so good. So if you are a gourmand lover like me, then you're definitely going to want to pick this one up. So that's our first one, Sweet Cream. All right, uh, let's, choose a Sam let's choose a random one. Uh, let's go with this one. This one was something that I necessarily wasn't like expecting to love, but I was very interested in it. So... Uh, I gave it a chance and I actually kind of like this one, surprisingly. So uh, Midnight Rose. So if you are new to my channel, you may not know, but I am not a huge rose person. I love florals. I love them during like the springtime. Um, but rose is one of the florals that I've just never really loved. I think that it sometimes can be very just like overdone and just way too strong. I feel like that's kind of like my past experiences with some rose fragrances. Uh, so I was quite worried about this one, but I was actually very interested in it because um, I feel like if anybody could do a gorgeous rose scent, it would be Crinkle. So uh, let's look at the notes on this one. Here's the label though, first of all. I just love this rose. I love like the black vibe from this one. So, so pretty. I love that like dark rose, super pretty. Okay, so uh, let's read the notes. So top notes are rose, of course, uh, matcha tea, bitter orange. Your mid notes are bergamot and leafy greens. And your base notes are vavitar, cedar, musk, and amber. Okay, so 
This is actually really pretty. I am so surprised that I love this. This smells really good, you guys. Um, maybe it's just because I'm so excited for florals. Like I've been burning so many heavy holiday scents and like fall scents, but this one to me is just, it's so pretty. To me, it definitely is not just like straight rose. And I feel like in a lot of rose fragrances, it really is just straight up rose. This is rose, but it has other notes in it that I think kind of help like support it a little bit and doesn't just fully focus on the rose. But it's actually really pretty. I really like this one. Um, I've always said Kringle needs to do a personal fragrance line. I know that they have the like fragrance lab thing at their uh, flagship store. I actually went there last fall um, and I think it was closed when we were there or I would have definitely done that, but they really need to think about starting like a personal fragrance line because I really think that this one would be so pretty as a perfume. It's just a gorgeous rose scent uh, with some other notes in there as well. Uh, yeah, if this one was to be a fragrance, I would definitely buy this. I think that it's really, really gorgeous. Um, all right, so what do I actually smell in here? Of course, I get that rose. Um, it's just like a classic rose to me. It's definitely more like sweet, I would say, than some rose fragrances are. Um, but it's just like an authentic, classic rose smell to me. Um, the matcha tea note, this is what is really interesting because I would never think to combine rose and matcha together. They're just like kind of like polar opposite things. Um, but in a weird way, I do kind of get a matcha note in here. Um, I think the matcha kind of blends in with those greenery notes in here. So like the vevater, the cedar, the leafy greens, of course. Um, so I think that the matcha is kind of like playing with those notes but I do get like a slight powderiness from this as well. And I think that that kind of like matcha, if you've had it, has a very like distinct like taste and smell to it. It's kind of like earthy, it's kind of greenery, and it definitely has a powdery like taste and smell to it. Um, and I definitely picked that up in here with the rose. Um, I don't know if I would have thought that this would have worked well, but it actually is a really beautiful combo. I really love this one. Um, I do also get that orange note in here, and I think that the orange is actually making me enjoy this a little bit more. Um, the orange note just kind of gives it a freshness and kind of balances out that super heavy rose note and just gives it a little bit of like that fresh citrusiness in here. Um, I definitely get some bergamot as well. Again, bergamot definitely contributes to that freshness in here. And um, I love how the rose and the bergamot work together. Um, I do definitely get some greenery in here. Like I said, I get that greenery with the matcha and the vevater and the cedar. And then you do kind of get like a musky base to this one um, with an amber note for sure. And like I always say, if you add amber to a fragrance, it's just going to make it 10 times prettier. <laughs> and um, yeah, this is such a pretty scent, you guys. I actually... I love this one, which shocks me. Um, I don't know if I would like have to repurchase it. I feel like this could probably be one that I would just enjoy, burn it a couple of times, but not overdo it. But it's gorgeous. Um, I will definitely be burning this to review and then I might actually save it until it gets a little bit warmer because I normally don't like to start florals until around like mid-March, early April, April even when it starts to get warmer and like the blooms actually start to bloom. So um, I think I'll wait for them to like really get into the scent, but I'm actually loving this. It's really pretty and Kringle do a personal fragrance line. Put this in there. It would be so gorgeous. All right, so that is the Midnight Rose. I feel like they already had a Midnight Rose one. Didn't they already have? They had Midnight like something. I think it was one of the first ones that they released. It was like Midnight Garden maybe. I don't know, I didn't have that one, so I can't really compare, but if you did have that one, let me know uh, what you thought of it. All right, uh, let's choose another random one. Let's go with back to my gourmands because I love my gourmands. Uh, let's talk about Sprinkled macaroons uh so once again they put macaroons instead of macarons 
Uh, I don't know. I don't really care personally. It doesn't really bother me uh, when I'm burning the candle. I can't even really say what the title reads, especially on these ones. They're not really <laughs> that e easy to see if you're not like really looking at it. So I don't mind, but um, I'm sure there will be some controversy about that. <laughs> um, but uh, sprinkled macaroons. Okay, so I actually never had the original macaroon scent. So if you're gonna ask me to compare, I'm not gonna be able to because I never tried it, but I have only heard good things about that candle. Um, I know people loved it. So yeah, if you've had it before, let us know if you think it's similar to this one once you get your hands on it. Um, but anyways, let's look at this one. So uh, it's just got some white macaroons on the label uh, and like some powdery dustings on top. Okay, so the notes on here are top notes of creamy pumpkin, coconut milk, mid notes of sweet praline, nutmeg, and cinnamon, and your base notes is vanilla marshmallow. Okay, this is so good, you guys. I love this, so delicious. Now, to me, this is kind of like a basic gourmand more than like the sweet cream like I'm comparing these two together because while they're definitely different they're kind of similar they both have like that sweet gourmand base to it if you like the more simple vanilla basic gourmands then you're going to want to go with the sprinkled macarons or macaroons however you want to say it um, and then if you like more of like a fruity fun uh just like super like fun Gourmand, you're gonna wanna go with the sweet cream because you have the strawberry note in here. But as for the macaroons one, this to me is really good. Now, I was kind of interested in this one because it has the pumpkin note in here and I've honestly never burned a candle that has pumpkin in it that's not during the fall. I, I just don't burn like pumpkin scents outside of the fall and so it was just really interesting to see that that was a top note. And um, I definitely do get a pumpkin note in here. It's kind of interesting. I do think that this is probably a good fall one. Like if this came out in the fall, that would make more sense, but it's almost like done in a way though, that you wouldn't have to burn this in the fall. Like I feel like you could definitely burn this now, but you do just get that slight hint of pumpkin in the background. Um, just a very light pumpkin note. Um, it, to me, smells like more of a white pumpkin than it does an orange pumpkin. It just has a little bit more of like a creamier smell to it, um, but it's 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 a delicious pumpkin. I love the pumpkin note in here, um, but I don't think it's like in a way where you wouldn't be able to burn this in January. I think you should be fine if you're a seasonal burner like me. Um, but other than the pumpkin note, the coconut milk, there is like, a slight milkiness to this one. I don't know if I would necessarily smell, say it smells like coconut milk. I've honestly never really smelled coconut milk, but I do think maybe this has like a slight coconutty smell to it. I wouldn't let that scare you away though. I feel like coconut and vanilla are pretty interchangeable. They smell pretty similar to me. Um, but yeah, I definitely get like a slightly milkiness to this one. Uh, sweet praline, there is definitely a praline note in here. I love how the praline and the pumpkin kind of blend together. It's kind of like a f classic fall scent almost. Um, you definitely get some slight spiciness in here. The spice is very slight and I like how they chose nutmeg over cinnamon or clove because, um, well, there is a cinnamon note in here, but for me, it's definitely more nutmeg. Like it smells like they just did a little dash of nutmeg on the top, just a little bit, just to kind of give it like that warm vibe to it um and I actually really like how they incorporated the spice in here this is so good you guys I love this one and then finally that vanilla marshmallow note in here there's definitely vanilla running throughout this entire thing like I said this is more of like a vanilla gourmand um and then you do kind of get like a little marshmallowy smell to this one um Oh, it's so good. I actually love this. This is really delicious. Um, I expected to love it, but I'm just like, the more that I smell it, I'm like, oh, I love the scent. This is so good. Oh, I love this. I honestly might, I wasn't going to place an order because this year going into 2024, I am really trying to stick to my budget, not overbuy, not only for like not having too many candles, but I'm like, I need to be more financially like 
smart this year and not buy so many candles. Um, and so it's really hard, but I feel like I might want one more of these to burn during the fall. Cause like I said, this is gonna be really delicious in January, but because it has that pumpkin note, this is the perfect fall candle. Um, oh, it's so good. I love this. Oh, I love it. Sorry, I gotta get over it, but I just love smelling this one. So uh, that is the sprinkled macarons or macaroons. I don't even know how to say that, but anyways. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, two more to go, I believe. Yep. Okay, let's do one that I don't like. Um, this is the one that I knew that I probably would not like, and it's not awful, but it's just not my type of scent. I've seen this scent try and be done before, and I've seen people fail at it, and this isn't a failure to me. It's just not something that I love. So uh, what is the scent? It's California Cab. So obviously referring to Cabernet. Um, this to me is going to be like another wine type of scent. If you kind of like those like fruity, grapey, kind of like bitter, but also sweet at the same time types of scents, then you're definitely going to want this one. Um, to me, this is quite quite similar to the Vineyard Harvest. If you remember that one from back in the fall, they're very similar. Um, I actually think that I do like this one a little bit more because the Vineyard Harvest to me smelled more like a fruity, uh, like grape uh, Tootsie Roll, or not even a Tootsie Roll, the lollipop. Like it smelled like a grape dum dum to me. It was just like extremely sweet, extremely sugary, and kind of had like a, uh, like just like, candy smell to it and I didn't love it. This one to me definitely has a lot of those same vibes to it, but it does smell a little bit more close to like an actual like wine smell. Um, it definitely has the grape note in here. Uh, let's actually read the notes. I haven't even read the notes on this one yet. Uh, the notes are red berries and black cherry. Those are your top notes. You've got mid notes of black currant, dark plum and wild grapes. And then your base notes are aged oak, warm spices and tonka bean. Okay, so you definitely get the grape note in here. That's the main one. Um, yeah, they should have put grape at the top because that's what I get the most in here. This to me, it doesn't smell like a grape dum-dum. This smells a little bit more elevated. To me, it smells kind of more like a grape juice almost. Um, I actually don't hate this one. I actually think that I might enjoy burning this one, but it's just not really my type of scent. Um, I just don't love these like sweet, like, candy smelling type scents. I do like this one more than the Vineyard Harvest because it's a little bit more elevated, but to me personally, I just, I don't know. I don't love it personally. I like the vibe that they were going for, but I don't know. It's just a personal thing. Um, I do get some plum in here. The plum and the grape kind of work well together. You definitely get the berry, the cherry, those dark fruits, right? The currant, the cherry, the plum, the grape, the uh, berry. You get all of that like dark grape like fruity smells in there. Um, you do get a slight like spiciness to this one, just a very slight spiciness. Um, you do kind of get like an oaky smell to this as well. I feel like they always throw oak in these types of fragrances. Um, and yeah, that's really the gist of it. Um, I will say it's better than the Vineyard Harvest, so I will give it that, but it's still it's still not my favorite, so yeah. If you had a winery or like a wine room, this might be perfect for that though. So I'm not saying not to get it, I'm just saying personally, it won't be a repurchase for me, but uh, I'll definitely burn and review it. I like it more than the uh, grape uh, vineyard harvest. This is definitely better in my opinion. It's just more elevated. It smells, this one I would say smells like grape juice. The other one smelled like a grape dum-dum and I definitely would prefer juice over a dum-dum, so. Anyways, uh, that is the California cab. I do like that uh, picture on it, that's pretty. All right, and then the last one here is uh, one that kind of surprised me. I kind of, I didn't know what to really think going into this one, but it's actually a favorite of mine, I would say. I would say this is probably my top third. Yeah, I really like this one. This is the Silk Sheets. Um, I love a good comforting scent, especially after the holidays. Those are kind of the scents that I'm really gravitated towards. Just like warm, cozier fragrances. Um, normally after the holidays, I am done with holiday scents and I'm honestly done with them right now. Um, I'm just done smelling like tree fragrances. I'm done with like the heavy spicier scents, but I still want to keep like that cozy vibe going because 
it's still cold outside you guys like it is really cold so i want my house to feel comforting and warm and inviting um so i love these types of scents during uh like the january and february time so silk sheets let's read the notes so we've got top notes of lemon mar lemon marine ozone fresh cotton lavender and clary sage those are your, those are your mid notes and then your base notes are amber red cedar and musk okay so this is gorgeous i love this this is really pretty to me this definitely leans more masculine if you like those like kind of cologne smelling scents then you're definitely going to be a fan of this one this is really, really good. Um, I love the like slight like citrusiness that you get in here from that lemon. The lemon is just very slight. It's definitely in the background more, but I do love that like really nice fresh lemon that you get in here. Um, I love that kind of like ozone-y smell as well, kind of giving you like that slight earthiness in here. Um, I do kind of get like a slight cotton note in here. It's not overdone though. I feel like cotton can just be way too strong sometimes. And the cotton is definitely more in the background. Um, I would also say the lavender is definitely more in the background. The lavender is definitely detectable. If you're not a fan of lavender, you might still want to give this one a chance. I know a lot of people don't love lavender, but I feel like the lavender in here, it's definitely more in the background, but you do still smell it, but it actually, mixes really well with that lemon and that cotton kind of like giving it that like comforting fresh vibe to it this is really pretty i love this one um the sage note in here there's a slight sage note in here it does kind of have like a slight herbaceous smell to it and i think that that kind of is similar to like the ozone smell that i'm getting in here uh definitely get some amber in here uh love some amber and it kind of gives it like that cologne smell to it i think the cedar, obviously that plays into the clone and then the musk as well. Yeah, this is just a really, this is a really good scent. If they had this one uh, in the fragrance, again, they've got to do the personal fragrance. This would be a really good cologne. Um, I would totally wear this. I think this smells so good. I love this. This would be a really good bedroom scent as well. So if you like to burn candles in your bedroom, obviously I am back there, <laughs> but um. Yeah, if you love bedroom, like cologne, like sexier fragrances, I feel like this would be the perfect one for that. So yeah, this is so good. I love it. So overall, I honestly love four out of the five of these. And then the one that I don't love is like not awful. Um, it's just not really my personal preference. But um, yeah, overall, I'm very excited for this launch, you guys. Um, I think this is going to be another great reserve launch. Kringle just continues to really knock it out of the park with these reserve fragrances. Um, I just love the reserve candles. I love the vibe. I love the aesthetic. The fragrances are amazing. The look of them. And they really are good candles. I love them. So uh let me know if you plan on picking any of these up next week again these are launching on thursday june january 11th i almost said june <laughs> um not quite yet but it will be here before we know it in the blink of an eye <laughs> um but january 11th on thursday these are launching so we have one week at 9 a.m eastern standard time again they are limited edition so if you're wanting to get your hands on them act fast uh use code connor15 that's going to save you 15 percent off so you're going to save some money they won't be on any other discounts than that so definitely use that to help you save some money uh thank you so much kringle for sending these over i really do appreciate it it's really great for um being able to get you guys first sniffs and obviously i'm going to be reviewing these as well so i'm actually going to start burning these tonight i think and then um, i'm just going to burn all of them what i love about the kringle formula is i know this soy formula so well that i don't have to burn it to like the halfway point like i do with a lot of my other candles because i know that it's not going to futz out so all i really have to burn it for is the fragrance and then to know what the strength of the throw is so those reviews will be coming out on early next week, so definitely stay tuned for those. But um, let me know out of this bunch, what are you most looking forward to? What do you plan on picking up? I would love to hear it down below in the comments, but um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.